Welcome to Fontainebleau. Less crowded than Versailles, yet equally magnificent, Chateau de Fontainebleau is beyond an easy day trip from Paris. It's also delightfully tranquil. For almost eight centuries, Chateau de Fontainebleau was the preferred residence of French kings and ruling emperors. Since then, not only has the palace become one of the most breathtaking royal grounds in the world, it is also a dazzling archetype of French Renaissance artistic style. One of the first stops during the tour of Fontainebleau is a museum dedicated to Napoleon I. Situated near Cour d'Honneur, where the first emperor said goodbye to his old guard in 1814, the collection of artifacts, furniture, paintings, sculptures add up to 500 items that depict Napoleon's 10-year monarchy. The first sight you'll also recognize upon entering the palace gates is the legendary horseshoe staircase, which dates back to 1632. Since Louis XIV, the staircase became a symbolic passage where princesses arrived to marry a son of France. It is also here when Napoleon bade farewell to his troops before his abdication. One of the most grandiose highlights at the chateau is the François I Gallery, where wooden panels are extended by opulent stuccos and frescoes illustrating the king's life at different stages. Other works that came to life during François I's reign also includes the Church of the Trinity and the splendid ballroom. Despite the first mention of the chateau dating back to 1137, it was later in 1527 when François I gave the estate its imperial start. At the time the medieval castle was abandoned, the king commissioned himself as the chief architect of a reconstruction project that acquired two Italian artists, Rosso Fiorentino and Francesco Primaticcio. Both were part of the first school of Fontainebleau, which was defined by two periods of artistic productions, the late French Renaissance, which eventually gave birth to Northern Mannerism, and the first production of Italian Mannerist art in France. Before numerous artists eventually moved to Paris, their artworks were mastered at Château de Fontainebleau. Don't forget to stroll through the Forêt de Fontainebleau. The 25,000 hectares of forest now welcomes visitors to stroll through on any beautiful day at the chateau. In 1861, this became the first nature reserve in the world prior to Yellowstone National Park. 